All right, with that, let's settle down. Let's get our guest speaker up here. Ladies and gentlemen, this young lady came up from nowhere. I mean, just out the sky blue. She's a, she is an avid reader. She's an avid learner of other leaders. And as a single person, she popped through the ranks as senior vice president all her own because she's such a coach. She's so coachable. And she is such a woman of, of integrity. I finally got a chance to slow down at the in, in Turk and Caicos. Uh, it was a week of um, in May. We had a week down there together. We are our, our rooms were a couple doors away from each other. And we finally got a chance. See, that's what I love about these trips. It gives you a chance to slow down with the leaders, the one percent of the one percenters to sit there, break a cup of coffee, have lunch, or have a dinner with them and just get to know each other a little bit better. Because at the conventions, we're all busy with our teams. This is the one time that we all get a chance to have some fun. And it's like we had a, a leadership call yesterday with the co-founders. It's amazing just to sit at her feet and listen to her story. And I was so blessed by that. And I said, I found her around like a little puppy dog. She's going to her. I said, can I get you on my call? And she says, absolutely. Let's get a date together. And with that, we had her on our call on May 28th, that Wednesday, uh, 29th. And I was so fortunate that I wanted to come back again today before we get into the international. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Senior Vice President, Ms. Gibson. What's going on, Mr. Al Thomas and everybody? I love, love, love the energy. Well, you got Thank it going you, on, Mr. Thomas. I'm, I'm learning a lot from you. <laughs> well, dear, tell us a little bit. It's always there. We got some new people on the call who don't know your background. And let's hear your background a little bit and bring this up to snuff on what you do to build your AC business. Okay, well, first of all, Al, let me just thank you again for inviting me back. And oh, by the way, when you were on our Zoom, people were blown away. We didn't have enough time. Next time you come on, we're gonna have to put aside an hour because you had so many nuggets. But uh, thank you again for letting me be on with you all today. I see so many familiar faces. I am, as Al said, I'm right here in Fort Worth, Texas, born and bred actually in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, you know, I understood I had to go to college and get a degree or two. And I ended up teaching and coaching and then I got into administration. I spent uh, 20 years actually in administration. I <clears throat> finished my career there as a athletic director, 17 years as an athletic director. And when I tell boy Al, was I busy overseeing 10 schools? At the time, my own kids were in high school and middle school. I was teaching Sunday school. So you know what, Mr. Thomas, when people tell me they're too busy to take a look or they have too much on their plates, I'm like, mm -mm. I was too busy to take a look, but praise the Lord, I took a look and was able to join, spend about an hour a week, because I told my uh, sponsor, you know him, Steve Fisher, I said, man, I don't have a lot of time, but I can give you an hour, and that's what I did, and I, as, as Al said, I was very teachable and coachable, because I didn't know what to do, I just followed their plan, and I did what they told me to do. We got the right people in, the thing blew up, and Al, I will say this, my business blew up from a home meeting in Mansfield, Texas, and I give all the credit <clears throat> to that starting at home meeting back in 2005. And here we are almost 20 years later. And I'm just so thankful that I said yes to this opportunity. Oh, I well, do have a 34 year old daughter and all, well, she'll be 34 on Friday. Um, a great son-in-law, a son that's 31. I have a beautiful granddaughter that's two. I was able to spend time with her yesterday. See, that's what time freedom does. I just picked her up from the daycare and we hung out for about four hours. Then I did go to our Plano meeting, Al, though. I did, I did <laughs> up with our Plano meeting last night. But yeah, life is good. I'm blessed, happy, healthy, and just looking for other people that want to join the journey. I love it. You know, you said something pretty significant I want to go back to. You talked about uh, Mansfield, Texas in 2009 blew up your business. What exactly happened in Mansfield, Texas in 2005, girl? <laughs> I, I love telling this story because we uh we started our business <clears throat> and we said, okay, let's do a home meeting. So the homeowner agreed to have the meeting. My upline agreed to do the meeting because I didn't know what the heck to say. But that's when we were doing the flip charts, Al. <laughs> 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 and we went to the to the homeowner's house and no one showed up but myself, the homeowner, and my upline. And we said, oh, heck no, we, we can't keep doing it like this. So we vowed to each other that we each would have at least two guests there the following week. We accomplished that. 
The following week, it was more, more, more. I mean, it just blew up. We were still signing on triplicate forms back in the day. It was crazy. Yeah. We had so many people in that house, 60 people, that the neighbors were complaining about all the cars up and down the street and um, people standing in the hallway, almost out the front door. Momentum. Y'all, out of that one home meeting, we signed up, well, the person I signed up signed up a high school principal who signed up someone in Houston that I have not met to this day. I talked to him, but I hadn't met her. 3,000 people came on my team from that one home meeting from those people in Houston. So I am an advocate for home meetings. The Zooms are great. Yeah, they, they work. But if you're not having home meetings or if you're not, and if you say, well, I don't have anybody to do one with, get with your team. You be the leader. You start it. And, and this is one thing I'll say too, Al. We didn't say, okay, we'll set one up when we have some people. No, we set it up and that made us more determined to go get some people to come to that home meeting. So that's how one home meeting in Mansfield, Texas blew up my business back in 2005. Wow. So I'm going to iterate. Well, you, your sponsor, and the person that had the house, this trivia showed up. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all catching this? Everyone of y'all can do this. I've been there many times with people that was me, you know, just two or three of us. We, listen what they did. They made a decision. Write that down. They made a decision. Guys, you got to make a decision. You got to make a decision. I, I think of, I think of Miss uh, Roxanne Corleno that told Tony Cooper to come down to uh, Texas and she had nobody in that area because she made a decision to get after it. What did Miss, Miss, Miss Gilson say? I made a decision. We're going to have people next week. They didn't put it off, like she said, until we got people. They set it up then for next week, the week after, and the week after. No matter what, we're going to keep it consistent. In the beginning, there's always nobody. Don't you get it? We'll keep going. By God. She said the next meeting, they had 60 people. They're all in the hallway, couldn't get in. Neighbors complaining. Dogs are barking. Cats can't get their milk. Come on, folks. And she said out of that one meeting, a lady in Houston, Texas, got in, never met it to this day. Sounds familiar. My sponsor, remember? That? Oh, the guy I brought in, remember in the story, uh, uh, James Moore, set the world on fire. One of my guys put a couple thousand. My best month was 8,000 one month. And now you get it here from another senior vice president. She said over 3,000 people came on her team from one home meeting, Daryl Ranson. Miss Evelyn Phibbs, one home freaking meeting. Miss Thomas, I don't feel like doing that in my house. You know, it's not clean. Well, clean it up. I don't feel like having people. Stay broke. My God. So that one went into 60 people. The three of you made a decision. They have at least two. You had 60 next week. And then that one leg out of the home meeting to 3,000. Give us some more good stuff. I'm getting excited over here. I'm going to go next door and slap my neighbor right about now. What else? <laughs> yeah, I like what you said about, I like what you said too, because Al, 20 years now to this business, I don't listen to excuses. I don't listen Hello. to whining. I don't listen to whining. I mean, because I have excuses. Do you think after 20 years, I enjoyed driving to Plano, Texas last night, an hour and a half in traffic no, I didn't enjoy that, but I needed the meeting. I needed to show up. I had somebody say, well, I'm going to be there. You're going to be there. Well, yeah, I'm going to be there. So you, you hit the nail on the head. We hear all kinds of excuses out why we don't do this, why we don't do that. I'm over the excuses because I can give you, you won't hear me give you excuses. So I'm not going to listen to you. <laughs> Team. You know, that's why people think I'm harsh, but no, I just don't put up their crap because I've heard it for so many years. And the long you've been in this business, unless you put up people's, excuse my friends, stuff, let, you guys write this down, right? M, 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 five M's in one direction, and then over about another inch or two, put five M's again in one direction. Let me explain what she just said to you. Let me give it to you in Japanese. You ready? More meetings means more money. Let me say it again. More meetings means more money. I don't feel like it. You don't feel like going to work, but you get up in there, go get paid, get, paid, get broke. I'm going to be quiet. More meetings means more money. Don't you get it? She drove an hour and a half, didn't feel like it because she promised the lady she'd be there. Well, I don't know. More meetings means more money. Now, the second set of M's, here we go. Second set of M's. More 
money means more meetings. What? More money. You want more money? Then go to more meetings. You heard on my book, the God's Gift, the book I gave out for free on my site, the book, God's Gift. I said in there, when I went to the meeting, December 1st, December 15th of 1990, I walked in the door, right? I didn't know. The guy invited me. He couldn't explain it. I walked in the door. He could, My sponsor didn't explain. He couldn't explain it. He said, come to a meeting. I said, why y'all think you got to tell everything? Because he was, I'm curious because he couldn't explain it to me. We're having a meeting on Thursday. I'll be there. I walked in the door. There's a guy named James Moore. Go to my book and listen to it. And James Moore said, who invited you? Nobody. How'd you hear about it? I went to uh, Sacramento State Fair. And they were so busy at the booth, they didn't have time to talk to me. I called the home office, found out here's what I mean. I drove an hour and a half in Sacramento. What did I miss? Did you get session? I drove an hour and a half in traffic. He drove an hour and a half because nobody invited him. And what I did, I put my arm around him. So you my new best friend. <laughs> because I went to the meeting that night, and I signed up, and I signed him up. Just by going to the freaking meeting, I got a freebie. Oh, I don't feel like it, Mr. Thomas. My screen door broke. My fingernail broke. I got to put my nail. More money means more meetings, and more meetings means more money. One more time. More money means more meetings, and more meetings means more money. By God, you got to go to meetings. Hey, Mr. Thomas, Ms. I, as, God yes, is my wit as God is my witness, here's a text. I'm going to read it to you that I had from one of my guys that was at the meeting last night. He says, I'll be there. My church guest let me know last night that she will come next week. It's always next week. Will you <laughs> prayerfully help me come up with a new game plan? Will you prayerfully help me come up with a new game plan? This is what I said to him. Yes. The best You're talking. I'll be right back. Plan, the best game plan I know are, number one, over invite. Number two, we must do some private Zooms and not just wait on the weekly meeting. Number three, you should miss out on our Monday team Zooms. And number four, beg people to take a look. So we don't want to beg people. We, I will beg people to take a look. No, I will not beg them to join, but I absolutely will beg them to take a look. So my whole point to this gentleman was, we don't need a new game plan. You have the game plan that you've had for over a year. You're just talking to one person and hoping they'll come. And when they don't come, your business grows at such a snail's pace. I said, young man, you have got to keep the funnel full. One person, you're depending on one person to show up. They don't show up. Then you're back at, at the first spot where you started. There's no secret. You just heard Mr. Thomas talk about you got to show up. And you can't, uh, my son's got a soccer game. My my 18-month-old grandson's got a soccer game. Really? You're building a legacy for that 18-month-old grandson. And, and, not, and not only that, these kids are so small. When they get to 20 and 18, they don't remember you missing no stupid game. They don't remember that. As a matter of fact, you don't even remember. You don't even remember. What they remember is you can put them in private college. They remember you put them in private school. They remember that nice car you bought them. And use your credit card to get the points. But they remember that stuff. Have you, go ask your kids and grand. Have you remember when I missed that game? They don't remember none of that stuff. But why we put it such importance, like Ms. Ms. Gifford said, and we're building a fortune. We're building a generational wealth system here. And you're over a basketball game. How many they got in the season? What, 28 of them or 20 of them? And you missed two or three. Come on. Hello, hello. You don't even remember him. How goofy is that? How goofy? Could the other parent go and you go, okay. One go this way, you go that way. Okay, I got it, Mr. Thomas. You don't halfway remember none of the school sports that you went to for in the first place. Go ahead, Miss Gibson. I'm sorry. Let me get off. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Look, let me, where, where's my fan? I got to slow down. Go ahead, Miss Gibson. I'm sorry. Oh, that, that, that's okay. Woo, I, you get me fired up know, on my, my point was, you just, there's no, you don't need a new game plan. You had the game plan day one. You're just not executing it. See, I'm an old coach, and you can show me, <laughs> show me the X's and O's. If you show me the system, I can execute the system. That's that's what I am good at. If I've got to make up, Mr. Thomas, if I got to make up the system, nah, that's not my strength. If you show me the system, 
Oh yeah, it's gonna get executed. So there's no new game plan. My game plan is the same today. It may have little variations. It's the same today as it was in January 2005 when I signed up. Just over inviting, over inviting, oh. over inviting, and hope oh, I love it. In and hope to show up. Oh, I love it. I love it. I, Mr. Ames, you hear that? She said, I love this. I love it. She said, I'm an old coach. See, we ain't trying to invent the new wheel, Dwight. We just use the one that works. It says, get five services, you get a check. You get three more, another check. You get three. Oh, my God. What more game plan y'all need? Keep talking, Miss Gibson. You get me riled up around here. I'm about to well, go take a shower or something. I'm riled you know, up. You know, another thing I was I was just thinking about is I'm talking, you know, and I, I applaud y'all for all of y'all being on here on a Doing the middle of the day, my God, I got to find out what y'all do so I can get my team on like in the middle of the day. I got to, <laughs> you know what, another thing I thought about, we've got Elevate coming up. You mentioned that, Mr. Thomas. And yeah, I will be in Orlando. And when I encourage my team to be there, I hear things like, oh, I got to work. Well, guess what? They put it on Saturday and Sunday now. It's on the weekends now. Y'all, I worked my business part-time for eight years while mm -hmm. I, was working my job. I did not miss an event while I was working my full-time job because I had vacation time. I had personal business days. I mean, I just took those days because I understood that I'm a business owner. I understood I wanted this business prayerfully to grow into millions of dollars for me and my family. So I was not going to not <laughs> make one of these events where I could learn. I I'm excited about going to Elevate. Because we'll hear from, from leaders that are making it happen. We'll hear from the um, uh, founders. And more importantly, we get to network with each other. Like, like Mr. Thomas said, we were in Turks and Caicos. I was so blessed that I could sit and chat with him and his amazing son. That was, a, that was beneficial to me more than even going to a meeting or going, but the opportunity to sit down with someone who's been in this industry for as long as Al Thomas has. And I knew his name long before we even met because he had that level of credibility about what he's done in this industry. But just to be able to sit and listen to him and what he's done and, and how he does it. Wow, that was worth a million dollars to me right there. So we gotta show up, we gotta get to these events. You said, oh, I don't, I don't know if I have the money. What about that money you've been making with ACN, hopefully, prayerfully? Invest some of that back into you attending your company's events. You know what? I always told them, go to work in ACN to pay for your events. Well, don't let your job pay for it. Go to work in your business and have the business pay for the events. Well, Miss Thomas, you understand my husband's sick. He's gonna be sick when you come back anyway. All this stupid stuff. You know, Mr. Thomas, you know, I got kids. Get a center. Mr. Thomas, I got a job. It'll be there when you come back. It'll be there when you come back. Look, they were there before you got there. They'll be there after you go. What are you, uh, what are you gonna stop and pay yourself and quit being goofy? I hate to say it that way. All these excuses, but yet and still let Jay Z or some goofy person come to town, you spend five hundred dollars for a stupid ticket. Oh, let me be quiet. Let me go ahead, Miss Gibson. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm getting off. I just don't get it. I, 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 look, I love what she said. She says, I'm a business owner. She said she worked eight years part-time for you part-timers. Eight years. And I didn't miss an event in those eight years. And I'm growing a business. I, I'm, well, I'm, excuse me, let me quote this right. I, I want to grow a million-dollar business. Because she's looking out for a future. Some of y'all don't even know what you have in your hand. Like Joseph, they know what he had. God said, lay, lay, lay that stick down at the water. Let me shut up. Y'all don't know. I mean, y'all come on now. Well, it was ain't too expensive. Do it anyway, <laughs> Art Williams. Go ahead, do it anyway. This is your future. Anyway, go back, Ms. Gibson. I'm sorry. This is your call, not mine. I'm sorry. No, I'm no, getting it's over, okay. I'm getting, I'm getting all one step over here, Kathy Williams. I might walk to Alabama today. I, I love hearing I, you. You fire me up, Mr. Thomas. You, when we get off this Zoom, don't tell what I'm going to do, who I'm going to call, because I'm fired up myself. But um, another thing I want to mention, Mr. Thomas, is, okay, vacations are over. Summertime is gone. Kids, mm -hmm. well, I feel like summertime is gone. Here, it's still in the 90s. But anyway, kids are back at school. It is statistically proven that the months of September, and we're almost out of September, the months of September 
October, November, leading up to the holidays. We know what happens when the holidays hit. Although that should be a time to stop because you see people you normally don't see during the holidays. But those are the months where we really can build businesses. Really, people are, you know, they've spent all this money on vacation and their, their kids have been on their nerves and now they're back. They've got time. These are the months where we got to push because guess what? Come January, February, March, you will be reaping that harvest that you sowed in September, October, Ooh. November. It's gonna Come on, happen. girl. Preach it. Let me take. Oh, my God. See, now you're talking to my heart because that's what I did. I went to work. I told Greg Promisano, uh, Robert Skirnath, hey, have my ring ready next year at the first convention in San Diego in February of 2009. I'll never forget it. And I went to work. Watch what she said. She do even I want to start in September. Watch this, six months early. September, October, November. Everybody's eating tryptophan, their turkey, and passing out on the floor. I'm working. Then December, and then January came along. I hit SVP because I worked through the holidays. It's a holiday, not a hollow week. And then in February, I got my ring. I walked across stage, and Robert Skevin, I said this night. I didn't see you coming. You weren't supposed to. I'm I'm a work it because I understand the system. Well, everybody else in January starting to wake up in February. Oh, it's a new year. I was I was already past it. Guys, you give you a formula. Don't let don't take your foot off the gas. Come on, Miss Gibson. Come on, hey, Miss Gibson. Hey, you say uh, he, uh, Mr. Stevanowski said he didn't see you coming. See, I, they they don't see me coming either. You know, you you be around people. Oh, I'm gonna kill this bitch. Oh, I'm gonna do. <clears throat> when I hear that, Al. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, those silent killers, those are the ones who are calling you. They you know, here's another thing. I tell my team, if I'm not hearing from you, you're not, I know you're not working. I tell use me up. Don't worry about bothering me. Don't worry about calling me too early or calling me too late because I really work for you. So if you're not calling me, then I and after a while I keep trying to get you to get you going. You're not going to be hearing from me because <laughs> I'm going to run with those who are actually giving me calls and doing PBZs and, and, Come on. and getting to you Come on. those kind of things. And Mr. Thomas, they told me I, my ring is coming too. They got my size and all that stuff. <laughs> Listen oh. here, I got people, I got people who've worked it so long. They, 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 they got locks. I said, well, let me bring the second string out the dugout and put them in the put them in the major in the major league, you know? <laughs> so I got my second string going harder than my first string because they they running. They're running. You like you said, you want to run with those who want to run with you. Oh, yeah. I keep going. Oh my God, you're blessing me today. I might have to walk. In. Ooh, look, no, I got to slow down I'm over here. Being a blessing to me, I I don't you know I don't know what else what we need to hear, Mr. Thomas. But I just uh, you you said the word earlier. Decision when I when I make a decision to do something, I don't play with it. I don't halfway do it. I you know, and I haven't made a decision to do a whole lot of things in my life. Just a few. But those mm -hmm. things I have made, I've been all in and it irritates me. Well, it shouldn't really bother me because it's on them, but it irritates me when people say, this is what they want, this is what they want, this is what they want. And then I see no zero evidence of putting in the effort to get what they want. Mm -hmm. I learn so much about people in this business though. Another thing that irritates the heck out of me, just do what you say you're going to do. If you're not going to do it, don't do it. Oh, I had to. Oh, I have some people, and I love my Georgia team. I love my Georgia team led by Dr. Terry Young. But there are some people, so back in the day, not now, they would say, Oh, the meeting is 20 minutes away. Oh, I got to drive 20 minutes. What <laughs> do you know? I drive hours. In fact, hello. In fact, Thursday, next Thursday, I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to, and I know Roxanne's in Lubbock, I think. I'm going to get in my car, drive four and a half hours to Lubbock. Do a meeting, two meetings, lunch and dinner. Come home, drive another four and a half hours home. You know what? You know how much I can accomplish while I'm on the road, calling people, Thank you. doing things, listening to audio. So when people say, "Oh, I got to drive twenty minutes," oh my goodness! Well, you you're not the one. <laughs> Later, hello. Later. So you know what's I don't funny? Know what I want to hear, Mr. Thomas, but that's that's just how I approach my business. I'm serious I'm about it. I love it. I hung up on a guy the other day. He won't put his camera on. I said, look, you go to a job interview. Don't you have your camera on? Yes. Put your camera on. Well, I just, well, he's a guy, not a woman. Not that his hair messed up. I just walked in the house. I said, put your camera on. No, maybe next time. I said, no, I got time for you. Because if you don't put your camera on, you're wasting my time. I clicked. I hung up on him. 
<laughs> that's called I, we, I, pop, I don't waste time guys he's not the one see, see y'all scared to do stuff like that oh that's that no 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 like miss Gibson said you've been around long as we have you ain't got time to play with people you know it's a lie you know it's a lie so why waste your time with a liar my god I was on I was in the call that matter of fact yesterday I got back five hours from Fresno the day before Mr. O'Neill and I we drove five hours got a rental car we drove five hours to Fresno Hung on Fresno, did the meeting, did some other people, had breakfast, drove five hours back yesterday. Got in just enough time to do the, the Zoom call last night. Five hours, and you scared to go 20 minutes. Come on, Miss Gibson. Woo! Well, maybe. I don't know if there's any questions for me from the group. Uh, they want to put them in the chat. Whatever you want to do, Al, I, uh, I'll be happy put to you, do. Take your phone off. We'll take, we'll take seven questions. Seven minutes complete. Let's go. Seven questions. Anybody, take your phone off. I think Mr. Harrison Mills got you. Seven questions. Anybody got a question for Miss Gibson? Senior Vice President all by herself. Man, what I'm so proud of that lady. What a Hello. Blessing. Hello. Give us your name for her. Give us your name. This is this is Sharon Afwape, uh regional coordinator down in Florida. Miss Gibson, uh, thank you for everything that you're doing, Mr. Thomas. Thanks for this platform. I'd like to know, Miss Gibson, what did you do differently on your run from RBP to SVP that made a difference. Yeah, I think we're friends on, friends on Facebook. Good to see you, Sherry. Yeah, I, uh, well, okay, that's a good question because some other things, distractions were coming my way. Some other people were reaching out to me to do some other, some other stuff that was not on my road to SVP. And I totally, I totally eliminated all that extra stuff. Because I had the game plan. I knew what I had to do to get there. My kids, my family knew what I had to do to get there. Because guess what? My kids know that when I'm gone from this from this level to glory land, they get to inherit my business. So they, they're not having a problem with me missing something. So I just totally, and I, I'm like, Mr. Thomas, some people think I'm a little harsh. So too, so I've been called a bully and I don't mean to be a bully. I just, I'm just going to speak frankly, but <clears throat> I just totally eliminated everything. I knew exactly. I got my, I'm looking at it right now. My dry erase board. It has road to SPP. I don't know if y'all can see it. Let me see. Anyway, <clears throat> my dry erase board has the words road to SPP. I knew what I needed. I knew the the main people. And by the way, Irma, you're on here. We're gonna get Irma wave a minute. We're gonna get Irma to RVP soon. She's on, she's on, she's killing it down there in South Texas. But anyway, I um I picked out the key people, Sharon, and I said, this is what Elva needs, this is what Chris needs, this is what, and I focused probably 80% of my time with those people because they want they were willing, they wanted to get there. And we just drew it out what they needed. We would drew it down to the day. If you do this so much this day, this is what you're going to get. You do so much this month. And that's what I did to get to SVP. It's, it's magical. Writing it down, charting it out is really magical. I also still have my little chart right here. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah. Of all the people that I've talked to this year. And I put by their name. They are interested. Okay, I got to follow up. They said no. I put no by their name. Okay, fine. Uh, people that join, I put in. So those are some of the things, kind of like my, even that's kind of like my daily method of operation, actually, to see what I needed to get to SVP. Thank you, Sharon. Good question. Next question. That was a great answer. Charted out. She's got whiteboards all around the place like, you know who? Look at what you got to see. Have it in front of you so you can see it. Not in your mind. Write it out. Put it in the refrigerator. That way, before you go eat, you know what you got to do before you go eat. <laughs> Put in your mirror in the bathroom. Oh. Put it everywhere. Oh, somebody, oh, Joe Mar asked, can I please share the DFW Plano information? Yep, I sure can. It's uh, it's at the Hilton Garden Inn on uh, George Bush. George Bush. I think, I, let me get... I can type the address in there really quickly. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, if you have something to write with, it is 1805 East President George Bush Highway. And it's at the courtyard, Dallas Plano. What day? 1805, 1805 East President George Bush Highway. It's on Thursdays. 
at, excuse me, not Thursdays. It's on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Central. So, guys, everybody write that down. I'm, no, I don't, I'm not in there, Mr. Talk. Hey, you know what a leader does? They write it down anyway, just in case you have somebody two months from now in that area. I, I always write stuff down, and I know where all the meetings are because I don't have anybody there currently, but who's to say in another week or two, somebody in your downline don't show there. So always, leaders, I don't care. I write everything down, everything down. That way you have a, I got a journal of just meeting locations. And then I put it in my phone. So as I travel, people always say, Ms. Thomas, what's going on in Alabama? Ms. Thomas, what's going on in Florida? Ms. Thomas, I got it in my phone. I'm a leader. I think ahead. So should you. Next question. That was good. Do in our and this is what we do in our community. Let's say you're in California, wherever, and you know some, have some people. You're going to send some guests to that meeting if I'm there. Now, I'm not there every Tuesday, but if I'm there, let me know, and I would be happy to talk to anybody for you. So... Just keep that in mind. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ms. Gibson. Uh, one or two more questions real quickly here. Shoot, I might have to fly to Dallas just to come Tuesday. <laughs> oh boy, if you fly to, if you, you come out, if anytime you're in the area, you let me know that we will build it up. <laughs> Co-host that one with uh, Presley Swaggerty. Uh, oh, my buddy. Okay. Your, your buddy, uh, Brian Lucia, uh, Platinum RVP, yeah. We just kind of okay. from time to time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody? Next question. Anybody else got a question? Well, y'all got the. Y'all got. You got it here. You got it right here live today. Anybody else got a question? Don't be shy. And I guarantee the question you asked, ten to twenty of you got the same question. Hey, put in the chat. How many people are gonna be in Orlando? Just put in the chat. Me, 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 me. Ms. Kathleen Williams, the Sherryon, of course. Harrison Mills, Josh Casey, of course. Tommy, oh, Clark, yes, of course. We talked about that the other day. Ms. Deborah, Mr. Baker, Mr. Sharp, plus family. Okay, Mr. Sharp, plus family. Okay. Tracy Gilmore. He's going to make a vacation out of it, huh? Yeah, he got a little one. Ms. Estrada, of course. Ms. Gloria, uh huh. Mr. Ames, I have a ticket. All right, all right, all right. In Alabama, up in there, uh, Alberta, Canada. Okay, anybody else? Terry O, plus family. Where's the rest of y'all? <laughs> uh huh. Well, I'll sure I'll I'll talk to y'all. Okay. Make sure you come up and say hi. I'm not going to call nobody out. I just ain't my, but gosh, how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> okay. Last question of the afternoon or the morning or whatever time zone you're in, even in Japan. Well, last question today. Last question so we can let Miss Gibson go and get into her day. I want to thank her first of all. But any more? Last question, Mr. Mr. Freddie Sherman. Me. Last question. Anybody got the last question? I'm gonna have the last question. Miss Gibson, this is me. I'm a I'm a brand new IBO. I've been in 90 days at ACN and. Um, what should you advise me to do? I'm a brand new IBO and um, I just been in 90 days. What shall I, what would you have me to do as a brand new IBO been in about 90 days? What shall I do, Ms. Gibson? I, I, you know, what should I do, please? Can you help me, ma'am? Well, well, Ms. Thomas, the first thing I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, is have you acquired your five services yet to get that first bonus? I, I yes, want to know. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I, 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 I I I I got the first bonus of two hundred dollars. I I got three more for eight, so I got another two hundred dollars. And I got I got I I my my upline told me the other day I, I got the third bonus of another two hundred dollars. So I made I made six hundred dollars on a three hundred twenty four dollar investment, man. I've already got that, and I've only got it. I've been in only ten days. So I, am I doing okay? Oh wow, that you're getting out of the gate fast. So yeah, I want to work with you real hard because this is what I need to know from you. Is it okay for me to push you? Because you got out of the gate fast, and I see you are serious. Yes, ma'am. I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared anymore. I broke. I broke the barrier. I'm not scared no more. I. 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 I my upline uh, sponsored believes in me, so I'm now. I'm, I'm sort of have confidence in myself, and I've been diving into a lot of the personal development, which is helping me overcome my 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 my, my fear to talk to people. I'm okay now. I'm coming out of my my shell. 
Well, I can tell you are, you're biting, you, I tell you, you're hungry for this business to work. So this is what I want us to do. I, if yes, you ma'am. haven't already done this, I want you to take a pencil and I want you to write down right now how many people, and by name, by name, how many people you're going to put on a private business Zoom with me and let's do a blitz. Today is Tuesday. Oh. How many are you yes, going to put on PBZ with me tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday? That's where I want to start. Okay. I want okay, to have I got a private business Zoom for you, for your people, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Now, you're going to have to invite uh, quite a bit, Ms. Thomas, but that's what okay. we're going to do. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Tonight, tomorrow. Got it. Got it. Also, okay. Also, Ms. Thomas, I expect to see you in Orlando, October 11th, oh. 13th. Yes, I'm having a garage sale this Saturday, so I'm going to sell some of my um, my tools and stuff to get enough money. To go, but I plan on going because I tell you what, I, I can't afford to miss this. I heard it's it's amazing because my sponsor, Terry O, told me I better be there. So I'm 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 gonna do that. And her upline, Kathleen Williams said it. So I'm gonna have a garage sale to raise some money to do that. Yeah. Well, and the last thing I want to say to you, because we're gonna take it bite-sized pieces, but we're gonna run hard. We're gonna run okay. hard. I want to know if I can talk. I need to know if I can talk to you every day because Miss Thomas, when I text or call you, yes, ma'am. Please don't ghost me. I, we need to talk and I need to understand where we are, what we need to do next together. And let's make this thing okay. happen together. To, I, won't, I won't ghost you. And matter of fact, it took a lot for me to turn my camera on, but, I, but I, I'm doing that because I'm going to be coachable. And if I want to be like you, I've I, I got to do what you do. So I'm turning my camera on. Before I was shy not to put my camera on, but now I'm putting my camera on. So now I'm overcoming the shock and the fear of what I look like. All right, let's do it. You ready? Let's thank, go. All right, thank you. Guys, can we show Miss Gibson how much we appreciate it? Come on.